Hello friends, welcome to wifi-study.com, one stop destination for all competitive exams. Friends, in this video, we are going to provide you current affairs 2017, January 3rd week in English. Friends, this page is very important for you, all of you guys. If you are weak in a vocab and you want to learn vocab, then this pen drive course is very beneficial for you, in which you will get a very, very short trick by which you will be able to learn 3000 words in just 60 videos. And you can access this course via vocab 24 app you and you will get in just rupees 497 and in a pen drive you will get in 999 for any query you can use this number that is 702 and so this is a vocab 24 app in which you will get 10 new words from the hindu editorial and you will get a translator dictionary everything which is important for your exam so friends if you like this video please subscribe this video so that we can help you in your upcoming exams and let's start from the international section firstly we will go into cover international then national then trade and banking appointments everything which is important for your upcoming exam so let's start from the international section first this is the first question what is the india's rank in the inclusive development index 2017 so firstly you need to understand what is this inclusive development index so this is a, this index is prepared by the world economic forum first first of all you need to remember this that this is uploaded by the world economic forum this report is published by the wef and they basically take 12 key pair performing in indicators under the three pillars that is the growth and development inclusion then intergener uh, and intergenerational equity and the sustainability by which they will prepare a report in which india's rank is 60 so india's rank is 60 which is very high or which is very high compared to our neighboring state that is china and pakistan so this is not a good sign for india so let's see another question what is india's rank in the global passport index 2017 so what is rank in a global passport index okay this question is very important for for all of you guys because this shows the passport power of a nation and india's rank they ask you about the india's rank so india's rank is 78 a is your answer okay and Germany stands at the top with a visa free score of 157 and Singapore topped in Asia. So these three things you need to remember. Which year has been declared the world warmest year? So world warmest year, world hottest year is declared as 2016. Okay, with a raise in year by 1 degree Celsius warmer than the mid 20th century mean. And the average temperature of the earth right now is 16 degree Celsius. Which country has downloaded the most number of apps from Google Play App Store in 2016? So the maximum number of applications downloaded from the Google Play is by India. So your answer is B. India downloaded nearby 6 billion app application, okay, which is greater than the US and Brazil. The UAE Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nain Foundation has announced to donate medical equipment worth rupees 2 million USD to US dollar 2. Okay, so they, they this foundation donated this amount to the to the one of our universities. So what is the name of that university? So your answer is A. That is Aligarh Muslim University. They donated equipment to the Aligarh Muslim University. And this Sheikh, this uh, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed is a president of the UAE and came to the uh, as a chief guest at the 60th Republic Day celebration. Which country has recently withdrawn visa-free facilities for Indians? So recently one of the country uh, withdraw visa-free facilities for Indians. C is your answer. Hong Kong withdraws visa-free facilities for Indians. Now let's see the national news. Which city has recently hosted International Television Dance Festival? Okay, so Prasar Bharti hosts International Television Dance Festival in Hyderabad. So your answer is Hyderabad. International Television Dance Festival was hosted by Hyderabad. Which state has launched mobile application Pinakin for tourists? So one recently one application named Pinakin was launched by one of our state. So that state is Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Tourism launches mobile app to help tourists. Which ministry has launched Mission 41K? So firstly, what is this Mission 44K? You need to understand this. This mission, the Mission 44, 41K is to save rupees 41,000 crore in the next decade in the railway energy cause. So the railway ministry wants to save 41,000 crore in the next decade in the railway energy cost. Okay, so the Ministry of Railways and the head of the Ministry of Railways is Suresh Prabhu. Shri Suresh Prabhu. Okay, so your answer is Ministry of Railway. Launched Mission 41K. Which city is hosting India's International Garment Fair 2017? Okay, so this fair was hosted by New Delhi in which Smita Zubin Irani has inaugurated this festival. 
which web portal has been launched by the HRD Minister that is Prakash Javedkar for the Service Shiksha Abhiyan. So recently, HRD Minister Ministry has launched a web portal, okay, to capture and showcase innovation and progress in the elementary education sector of India by continuous monitoring of the flagship scheme that is the Service Shiksha Abhiyan. Okay, so name of that app web portal is Shagun. C is your answer. Shagun is the web portal. Which state has launched Anandam scheme? So under this government through volunteers will provide help to the needy and the economically sound citizen can donate items for the needy person. Okay, so this program is for the help to the needy person to provide help to the needy persons and this program is launched by the Madhya Pradesh. So A is your answer. Which committee has suggested creating up to the 20% supernumerary uh, super seats for the girls in the IIT? So a panel under the chairmanship of the Professor Timothy Gonzalez has recommended, recommended reservation for a girls student in the IIT to address the issue of the slam in the number of female students entering the prestigious institute, institute. So your answer is A. Gonzalez Committee. India's first cashless island, Kerang, is in which state? So recently, one of our uh, one of one of our this state and there is one of our uh, northeast state as uh, one cashless island okay so what the name of that cashless island is karang and the state in which this cashless island is situated is manipur so your answer is d manipur karang is the india's first cashless island and is located in the middle of the block tuck the largest freshwater lake in the northeast india okay so you need to remember this Sitalpati, which has been recognized as an intangible cultural heritage by the UNESCO, is related to. So Sitalpati is a, is a what is this? Is a cool mat from the Kuch Bihar district of West Bengal. So this is belong to the West Bengal and uh, recognized as the intangible cultural heritage from the UNESCO. And this mat are used for the sitting or to hang on doors or the window during the summers. Okay, and made from the mutra plants. So you need to remember this. The toughest question that can be framed from this part of the story is that. This Sitalpati is made of which plant? So this is made by the Murta plants. Which state has recently allowed sale of the kerosene in the open market? So Karnataka state has decided to allow the sale of the white kerosene in the open market. So your answer is C, Karnataka. Which is the most dynamic city in the world? So Bangalore has emerged as the world most dynamic city in John's Lang, Lashell fourth annual city momentum index of the cities around the world followed by the Ho Chi Minh city of Vietnam and a Silicon Valley in the US. Okay, so this city is the world most dynamic city in the world. So your answer is D. Bangalore. Which city is hosting Raisana Dialogue 2016? So this is very easy question as you as uh, everybody should have to know about this Raisana Hill. So there is a one Raisana Hill okay, behind the Rajpati Bhavan in New Delhi. Okay, so b because of the Raisana Hill, this the name of this dialogue is the Raisana, and your answer is E. That is none of these. So your answer is New Delhi. This uh, New Delhi hosted this dialogue. Dantam Gramin Mela is related to which state? So this uh, Mela was inaugurated by the pre President Pranam Mukherjee is on it when he was in tour to the West Bengal. So your answer is West Bengal. This Gramin Mela is related to the West Bengal. Government Inc. MOU to set up 1000 Jan Oshadi Kendras. So, government did an, uh, signed an agreement with the National Yuva Cooperative Society to set up 1000 Jan Oshadi Kendras across the country and target to open such medical stores in every block and gram panchayat to provide quality medicines at an affordable price. So, aim of this scheme is to provide a quality medicines at an affordable price. Okay, and government want to open nearby 3000 this Jan Oshadi Kendras by the end of this year. Indian Railways has circulated a draft cabinet note for setting up a dedicated dash billion dollar development fund. So Indian Railways to set up 5 billion dollar development fund. Okay, so your answer is 5. 5 billion. B is your answer. Which state has launched MOS app for the Dango detection, detention? Okay, so there is a one state which launched this app. So the a Kochi based NGO in Kerala, the Center for Advis Advancement of the Global Health has developed a mobile application that can be used by the health workers to conduct local surveys, document environmental issues and also to upload real-time images and data into their servers for tracking mosquito borne diseases. So your answer is Kerala. Which state has the highest rating in the reading and the mathematics? So recently Kerala was left behind by the Himachal Pradesh which emerged as the highest reading and mathematics 
in 2016 okay so your answer is b himachal pradesh which state has set a new world record by over 3.5 lakh people singing the national anthem okay so in gujarat so your answer is gujarat so over 3.5 lakh people has set a new world record by singing the national anthem in rajkot district of gujarat previously this record was made by the bangladesh so your answer is a in which state people has recently formed a chain for more than 11000 kilometers against addiction so bihar claimed to have forget a world record as a 10 of 1000 of people came together in support of a prohibition forming a chain for more than 11000 kilometers across 38 districts okay so three isro satellites four trainer aircraft choppers and 40 drones film the entire event played over 300 km 3000 km of national highway and 8 to 85 km of state highways and roads so this chain was made by bihar so d is your answer now let's see some trade and banking questions sebi cards brokers turn over fee by 25% so bring down the overall cost of a transaction in the stock market market regulator sebi reduced its turnover fee by 25% to rupees 15 per 1 crore worth of turnover from rupees 20 earlier What is the expected date of the implementation of the GST? So GST roll out likely from 1st of July in 2017. So B is your answer. So it is a expected date. Central and SBI card launches premium co-branded card. So Future Group Fashion and Lifestyle Department Store Central and SBI card announced the launch of a co-branded credit card to offer benefits to customers in the premium lifestyle and fashion space. Which bank has launched country's first customable customable service saving account? So, if you want to custom your saving account, like if you have an option of like debit cards and minimum balance requirement, ATM usage, digital banking, branch banking, family grouping, then you can customize your own saving account. And this scheme was launched by Yes Bank. So, your answer is C. World Bank and India signed a financial agreement for IDA credit of dash million for the Nagaland Health. project so multilateral lending agency world bank and india signed a financing agreement for idea credit of 48 million usd for the nagaland health project to improve the health services and increase their utilization by the communities in target location in nagaland so your answer is 48 usd according to imf what is india's expected growth rate for the current fiscal year okay so according to the imf imf cuts india's growth rate to 6.6 from 7.6 so your answer is d according to the un report what is india's expected growth rate for the current fiscal year so according to the un report india's growth that they projected is 7.7 in 2017 okay in 2018 they forecasted 7.6 the reserve bank of india has imposed rupees dash penalty on bombay mercantile cooperative bank limited for violation of the kyc directives okay so bombay cooperative bank limited did a violation of the kyc directives and rbi imposed a penalty of rupees 75 lakh so c is your answer the world bank can sanction rupees 1376 crore for complete upgradation and improvement of the power system network in so power system network in tripura so world bank sanction rupees this for the power development in the tripura so your answer is a Which bank has tied up with the India's Post Payment Bank to provide technology platform for a pilot launch of I double P P? Okay, that is India's Post Payment Bank. So the bank is PNB, Punjab National Bank, has tied up with the India Post Payment Bank to provide technology. Where is the headquarters of the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank? Which is very important question, friends. You need to remember this that the headquarter of A double I B. is in beijing so d is your answer 30 more countries interested to join the a double i b in which china is the largest shareholder with with 26.6 voting shares and second largest shareholder is india with 7.7 7.5 followed by the russia and germany which bank has tied up with the quality limited for providing rupees 4000 crore loan to the farmers so dairy farm quality 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 limited said it has signed an agreement with the bank of baroda for providing rupees 4000 crore loans to the farmers 1 lakh farmer from where the company produces milk okay so your answer is bank of baroda b is your answer with tied up with the quality limited who has been appointed as ambassador of the mumbai marathon so david rudisha who was a olympian and a world champion 
who was a former Olympic and a world 800 meter champion. Okay, as named as named as the ambassador of the Mumbai Marathon, and he is from the Kenya. So your answer is B. Which bank cannot deposit cannot accept deposit under the Pradhan Mantri Galib Kalyan Deposit Scheme? So Cooperation Bank cannot accept deposit under the Pradhan Mantri Gramil Kalyan Deposit Scheme. So what is this scheme? Under this scheme, all those who are declaring previously undisclosed, undisclosed income under the scheme have to pay 25% of the amount being declared in an interest-free fixed deposit with a lock-in period of 4 years. Okay. So, and cooperative banks cannot accept these types of deposits. Which company has become Olymp worldwide Olympic partner through 2028? So Alibaba became the worldwide Olympic partner through 2028. So your answer is Alibaba. It is a Chinese online giant and uh, founded by Jack Ma. Which bank will install an ATM at the INS Vikramaditya? So INS Vikramaditya will have first ever warship, will be the first ever warship to have a such facility. Earlier INS Virat was equipped with a telephone link based ATM with limited access. Okay, but right now this Vikramaditya is provided with the full access and uh, SBI was a bank which, SBI is a bank which will install this ATM at INS Vikramaditya. Which bank has launched FI at a school program to promulgate, propagate financial literacy among school children? That is FI means financial literacy at a school program. So this program is launched by the Kerala Grameen Bank. So B is your answer. Which country is helping India in getting trains on Nagpur Sukundrabad faster? Which country is helping? So there is a one country which is which will help in India, which will help uh, which will provide a help to the Indian railways to provide a faster train network between the Nagpur and Sukundrabad. So Russian railways to help India get train faster. So B is your answer. Russia will provide help. Okay. And at present the Gatiman Express with a top speed of 160 km is the highest operational uh, train in the on the Delhi-Agra route. Which is the most innovative company of 2016? Apple is named as the most innovative company of 2016. Very easy question. And second is on Google, then Tesla, then Microsoft. BSC IPO is open now. So BSC that is Bombay Stock Action has hit the capital market with its much awaited initial public offering that is IPO. The first buy is domestic stock action to raise up rupees 1200 crore. It will be the country first stock action to be listed in the share market. And BSC is the world largest exchange by number of listed companies and it is India's largest and the world 10th largest exchange by the market capitalization. What is the name of the recently launched PNB contactless credit card? So name of that contactless credit card is PNB wave and pay. You just need to wave and the amount will be paid. So the name of that is wave and pay. Now let's see some appointments. Who is the head of the IRDAI committee to review life insurance product regulation? So Amitabh Chaudhary, who is a CEO of HDFC Standard Life Insurance Company has appointed as a chairperson of this committee. So your answer is A. Who has been elected as a president of the European Parliament? So a former Italian Air Force officer that is Antonio Tanzani will be elected as a has been elected as a president of the European Parliament. Who has been appointed as a new CBI director? So Delhi Police Chief that is Alok Verma will be appointed as a new CBI director. So your answer is C. Former was Anil Sinha who retired on 2nd December. Adama Baro has sworn as the president of which country? So C, so this person is sworn as the president of Gambia. So your answer is A. And this is Gambia. And this Gambia is a Western African country bounded by the Senegal. And the capital of this is Benzul. Benzul is the capital of this Gambia. Who is the head of the special task force for women safety? So special task force for women safety reconstituted and head is under the chairmanship of Lieutenant Governor Anil Bajal. With his approval, the government, Delhi government, home departments said in a communication sent to the Delhi High Court. Okay, so he will be the chairperson of this task force. So your answer is B. Now let's see some awards. 25 children win National Bravery Award. So you just need to uh, remember this 25. Okay, so 25 children will win national bravery award you don't need to go into the depth of this news prinka bag second people choice award okay at 20, 2017 people choice award which one of the following was recently inducted into the legends club that is hall of fame so kapil dev 
was inducted into the Legends Club Hall of Fame in the presence of former Indian captain Ajit Wadrekar Sunil Gavaskar. So your answer is A. Kapil Dev. Which Indian film has been awarded at the International Barago Springs Film Festival? So this festival belongs to the US and there is a Indian film which won the award there. So the, that name of that film is Sanj. This film is from the Himachal Pradesh and it is in the Himachali dialect. Okay, the name of that movie is Sanj. Now let's see some sports question. Amunato uh, win Delhi International Chess Meet. So top seeded Grandmaster Farooq of Tajikistan won the 15th edition of the Delhi International Chess Tournament. Which team has won Pro Wrestling League Season 2? So this is also another very important question because you need to remember this and uh, your answer is Punjab Royals. Punjab Royals won this title that is Pro Wrestling League Season 2 by beating Haryana. Who has won Malaysian Open Badminton 2017? So this award was won by this tournament was won by Sanya Nehwal. Okay, after coming from an injury, this is her first prize. This is her first tournament that she won. Malaysian Open Badminton 2017. Now let's see some death. Who is known as the black hole man of India? Very important question. Vishw Vishweshwarya, CV Vishweshwarya is considered as a black hole man of India. No more. Okay, so your answer is A. Filmmaker Deepak Roy passes away. So Deepak Roy, known for his movie Limit to Freedom, which won him a national award in 1996 under the category of Best Investigative Film. Okay, passes away. Geeta Sen passed up recently. Who she was? So she was an, a, a former actress and, uh, and she had also been a part of the theatre movement in the Kolkata. So your answer is actor. Now let's see some books. An Unsuitable Boy is a biography of. So this Unsuitable Boy is a biography of Karan Johar which was launched by the S SRK Shah Rukh Khan. So your answer is B. Karan Johar. Khullam Khulla is a biography of. So Khullam Khulla is a biography of Rishi Kapoor and in which he talks about the relationship with his father Raj Kapoor and his son Ranveer Kapoor. So your answer is Rishi Kapoor. C is your answer. So friends, these are the important questions that you need to remember. And friends, if you are not subscribed to our channel team now, then click on this logo to subscribe our YouTube channel for daily videos and for daily newspaper editorials, vocabs and quiz. Download Vocab24 app now. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and give your feedback while commenting on this video. So friends, thank you and all the best for upcoming exam. Hope you like this video.